Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Taurus. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the Cross Watcher of the Taurus. These are your bonus readings. Uh, the Past Life Oracles we're going to use first because it's a past life reading. But of course, as per usual, everything ties into present day, which we will also be channeling, okay? Apologize if you hear like a flopping around noise. I'm washing my rugs, my bathroom rugs, and I usually do not like to record when there's you know loud noises happening, but it's Sunday and we're doing chores today, so we got to work and do chores, hunty. Mom life, okay? So you guys do have mother energy on the bottom of this deck. You have Greco-Roman and wars and battles. So the Greco-Roman, I'm immediately drawn to like Greek mythology. Matter of fact, I saw um, something about Zeus yesterday and today. So very specifically, some of you might be connected to or, or there's some kind of a, a big like resonance with Zeus, uh, but it's very specifically Greek mythology all of the gods, the deities, okay, that is tied into that energy. Um, Medusa, I also see in my head as well, too. Now, the mother energy here is obviously mother energy from a past life. It's so crazy because I'm seeing the story of like how, you know, the, the stories, the mythologies back then, right, the myths are that there were some demigods, where the mom may have been human and the dad could have been, for example, Zeus. So something here coming through with demigods. And then you also have wars and battles. You know, uh, very specifically the civil wars, what I see in my head. Normandy I saw in my head. I see um, Vietnam too. There's a connection there with you or someone else to those um, uh, uh, Gettysburg, I, this is all the things that I'm seeing. Um, but very specifically like Gettysburg, Civil War type of an energy. The wars and battles can also be tied into the Greek mythology, that Roman Empire, right? That particular time period as well too. Um, that's interesting, Taurus coming up as a demigod's energy. But that, you know, will either resonate with you guys or it won't. Or the person that, you know, of interest. The Ace of Wands is your very first tarot card. So Ace of Wands is, you know, something new. New action. Movement. Something here. It's also like an olive branch for some. Someone reaches out. Someone reaches out and takes action. You may have been waiting on this. This may have been someone reaching out to a mother or a mother reaching out. Something about reaching out and it's connected to the mother. This could be the father reaching out to the mother. It could also be like starting something new, right? A creative new endeavor. Wow. Yeah, definitely action movement with the eight of wands here too, but that also is message. So someone definitely reaches out. Uh, six of Cups flew over here by the mother. So very strong past life energy, right, with the Six of Cups. And here you go with uh, matching the past life energy, Five of Wands, which is like fighting, right? I mean, it's wars and battles, basically. You can see your cards are literally mirrored. Because again, if you don't know where you've been, you don't know where the fuck you're going. But our past is connected to also our present. A lot of things mirror it. May, there may be fighting, not getting along with one's mother or you are the mom and you don't get along with baby daddy kind of an energy. There's some kind of conflict here. Conflict that comes from a past life trickles into this one. Two of wands. Someone's making a choice. Three of pentacles. It feels like someone could have been a single mother. Three of Pentacles is teamwork, partnership, but it feels like there's a lack of it here. Someone might want to team up with you or partner up with you at a later time when you're older. I don't know if this is romantic or if this is like family. Four of Wands, new beginnings. They want to start something new. Judgment. Someone here wants a second chance. 
Wow, that this is just not what I was expecting when I sat down to shuffle your cards. All right, here we go, Taurus. Ten of Pentacles. This is about solid, right, committed. Someone here has some type of really big lucrative um, opportunity, financially abundant, or this can be a long-term committed offer. See, look, but they were, someone was single, they were left behind, Five of Pentacles. They were, someone here could have had a child with someone like an athlete or someone famous, and they were left almost like abandoned abandoned five of pentacles walked away from this could be a past life again we go back to the demigod energy again interesting fucking energy here with the demigod i'm before i shuffle that i want to show you nine of pentacles is someone single seven of swords lies and deception and two of pentacles someone was going back and forth on leaving or staying leaving or staying there could be something you've uncovered or some story that you have it that relates to you in this life, something happened where there could have been a lie or a secret that needed to be kept under wraps, connected to a mother or child or the baby dad or something like that. I don't know, it's unusual. I don't usually channel baby daddy shit, you know what I'm saying? But that's what's coming up. Some kind of a lie. <clears throat> Someone may have um, tried to cover something up, nine of cups. Nine of Cups is getting what someone wants. So this is a really good sign. And, you know, Nine of Pentacles, excuse me, Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Getting what you want is getting what you deserve. Getting what you deserve. Five of Cups, there's a lot of sorrow and grief. You, you finally get what you deserve in the end. You, it's almost like you get the last laugh. That's the way they say it too. You get the last laugh. Occupation. Something new happening with work for some of you. It's hands-on work. So whether this is literally career, business, or occupation, or just hands-on work, because like now you're starting to clean house, or or you've got a new project and you're sewing, or you're literally using your hands, right? There's something that's hands-on. Imprisonment, feeling stuck or trapped. This I gotta tell you that it's, this feels financially strapped. Those of you that have been financially strapped or like, you know, kind of struggling financially, it feels as if something opens up for you. For some of you, it's getting money from like past child support or alimony or something with the courthouse. Someone here had to work extra, work double jobs. I mean, it is tale as old as time, isn't it? Having a child and then the, the, someone leaves you. Being a single parent, the chaser. Could have been something that someone battled, they chased. You may have been looking for love in all the wrong places. Golden mirror, this is a narcissist. Someone here dealt with a narcissist. Wow, you have love call. Someone expresses love. That call, phone call, they reach out. <clears throat> and I like you. Someone likes you, romance is blooming. So if this is romantic, someone here reaches out. Someone that you stopped chasing, they become the chaser because it's that reaching out olive branch, they reach out. Now, if this is like a parent or such, it's the same fucking concept. Um, after a period of time of you maybe not having them in your life or you wanting them in your life, but you know, no, and, tr and trying to communicate nothing and then they reach out to you. You have unlikely. Unlikely to happen the way you think it's going to. It, it didn't happen the way you wanted it to. And then you also have here forgiveness. Someone is asking for forgiveness. That could be what the reach out is for. They could be apologizing. Reaching out to say, I wish things could have been different. Angelic protection. Wave of inspiration. So extremely protected divinely. Someone here uh, connects with their angels. They pray to the archangels, right? They are, they feel, someone feels extremely spiritually divinely protected by spirit, by angels, right? That kind of an energy. Uh, you might see flower and not flowers, but um, well, yeah, flowers. So funny because this is a feather, but I saw a flower in my head. So you might see both flowers and feathers. 
They might actually both be in combination where you see them. You know, nowadays you see these beautiful, gorgeous like floral arrangements, you know, dried flowers and such, and even some real ones. And they have both. They have the flowers and the feathers in them. That could be it as well, too. You have a wave of inspiration here. That could be what that Ace of Wands is also, too, a wave of inspiration. Look, something is revealed. I felt that earlier, like there was that secret or something was hidden, some kind of deception or something, and then it finally gets, like, revealed, like, oh, you know what, actually... Um, this is what happened, and if somebody's like, what the fuck? What you mean that's what happened? Starry sky. Infinite cosmic galactic. Infinite cosmic galactic. It reminds me of my new midnight hour bracelet, because this is my midnight hour oracle deck. That starry skies, fire, passion, anger. Someone's angry. There's, that's where the forgiveness part comes from. You also have the breakthrough. Hope. Discovery. Clarity. There's a discovery. Something is revealed. There's a discovery. And it could be something from a past life. It doesn't have to be so, like, soap opera. Right? It doesn't have to be so Jerry Springer. This could be like, oh my God, I just found something out. Like we were doing ancestry or we were doing this or we were doing that or I did past life regression and oh my God, I found this out. Like something is revealed, period. So we're gonna go ahead and get into your extended. Should you rent, want to rent it, click that upside down triangle below. It's gonna bring up all my links. First one will be to my website, saltwaterhamstrial.com and this is gonna be in your past life oracle extended. Patreon link is also below. Follow me there so that you can be up to date with a lot of um, exclusive content. All of the special love reading extendeds are now only exclusively found on Patreon. Um, also, I've done all 12 zodiac sign erotic tarot readings on Patreon as well too. Okay, so I want to thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions here on YouTube. Thank you for all of the donations you guys sent to my PayPal. I will see you in the extended. Love you.